Welcome back to Jikoni Magic's Mesa. Today on the menu is honey mustard kienyeji chicken, otherwise known as free range organic chicken. This is the most flavorful chicken you'll ever come across. So on to today's cooking. The chicken was 1.5 kg in weight and to that I'm adding 500 ml of maziwa mala or fermented milk. You can also use the plain and flavored yogurt or buttermilk. The lactic acid will help in breaking down the meat tissues resulting in very tender chicken. I also added a teaspoon each of curry powder and red chili powder, some salt to taste, freshly cracked black pepper, one teaspoon roiko which is optional. A third cup honey, it is after all honey mustard kenyeji chicken so the honey has to be enough. A third cup Dijon mustard which you can find in most major supermarkets. They usually do stock it. You could also use yellow mustard if it's what you have. Here I've got a mixture of ginger, garlic and green chilies which I had freshly pounded and I took one tablespoon of it and added to the chicken. Next I massaged all the ingredients of the marinade into the chicken. Be very careful when massaging the chicken because the bones are very hard and can poke or cut you if you are not careful. I then cleaned up the sides of the bowl and covered the marinated chicken with cling film. This chicken went into the fridge overnight although even 2 hours of marination are more than enough. The next day I added the chicken to the sufuria along with all the marinade. I needed to cook it with the maziwa mala because I needed the lactic acid to soften it further while it cooked. There's nothing as good as kenyeji chicken that is so soft that it melts off the bone. I also don't add any oil to this chicken because in my opinion it's got enough fat of its own. I covered the sufuria and left it to simmer for about 45 minutes on moderate heat. And as you can see the sauce was thick almost curry-like in its consistency because of the maziwa mala. The chicken was fully cooked because the flesh of the drumsticks had pulled off the bone. This is when I added one large onion that I had sliced finely. I wanted to use the onions to perfume the dish as they softened. After incorporating them into the chicken, I covered the sufuria and left them to cook for about 5 minutes. Then I added 2 cups of blended tomatoes. You could also grate them if you don't have a blender. As you can see, the liquid rose up at this point. So I covered the chicken and left it to simmer for 15 minutes on low heat for the tomatoes to cook. As one of the finishing touches, I added green hohos or bell peppers, which I left to cook for just about 2 minutes for them to soften and then added dania or coriander leaves. After this, I turned off the heat and served. The sauce was on the thicker side, so you can thin it out if you prefer it thinner than this. For me, this was perfect. Almost curry-like consistency. Thank you for watching this episode. Until next time, God willing, please keep it Jikoni Magic for more fantastic recipes. Kwaherini ya kuonana.